So they'll be calling you a radical. So the hundredth anniversary of Weber State football. So the season kicks off tomorrow in San Diego. I'll be doing the play-by-play. -play. So that was in 1966 down there. All right, Kev, get this out. So let's show you some of these play. One of the greatest football teams in college football history. Whoa. Always something, ain't it? <laughs> Touchdown. Who did it open up to? So, Fred Dreyer on that team. So, let's hope it's a little better score than it was this time. So, the season will be dedicated to the great Dr. Hanley, who I worked with for years, who donated his brain when he died. The NCAA, his quote in... 94, I was on the committee. They were going to kill this football program. It's the most corrupt football program, one of them in the country. Uh, one of the losingest programs in all-time college football history right here. For decades of losing, and decades and decades and decades. Corruption. Two different people sex for grades. That ain't no kidding. Uh, Dr. Hanley, I was on the committee in 94 when he was, we were the number one school business in the United States. And his quote to Sports Illustrated, you got to put 14,000 fans in this stadium to break even. What's the chances? A snowball's chance in hell. He voted to kill it. It almost died. He was corrupt as hell. A guy named Jody Sears here won three games in like four years. I mean, beyond corrupt. The kid who filed the lawsuit against the NCAA from Chicago, he played here. You remember the punt where the Michigan player threw it, just threw it at the last play of the game? Oh, he punted here. So this turnaround, which has been one of the greatest turnarounds in college football history, from the worst wins and losses, is it corrupt now? I don't know. We'll find out, but they sure win now. They never used to win. The legendary track team they have here, which I sat with Coach Peterson. I got a great story to tell you that nobody knows. The original track here, Coach Peterson, I was a track guy. He's 80. I sat with him when we talked. That's he, he and I sit next to his wife says, you know how they got the asphalt track, Kevin? I said, no. He went around all over northern Utah and they gathered up tires. <laughs> I remember running on the old concrete, or uh, excuse me, the old gravel ones and the old grass ones. I was great on the grass one. I used to have to run against the ice stone himself, Ed. He ran at TH Bell, I ran at Walkways. Whoa, he ran at Bonneville, I ran at Weber. So, the whole season, Bruce Hanley donated his brain at end, the number one, which is number 500 now, corrupt as hell. The Weber State School Business is the most corrupt school business in the country. They rank up, how do you go from number one to number 500? You know, the golf coach died with leukemia right here. The young man that was played here a few years ago got brain cancer the same time I did. But the young Smith boy, this is outrageous. You know, McBride come up here. So many of these coaches are just riding student athletes' backs just for a check. That's all it is. By the way, this is state, state, state. So the taxpayers pay this, their salaries. The highest paid guy in every state are college football and basketball coaches. 99.9% .9 of these athletes ain't going anywhere. The NCAA rips up their one-year contract. So we're going to go at them. We're fighting the NCAA on the NCAA contract. We're fighting them. So I'll be doing the play-by-play. -play. Now, I've been working with Randy Ray on the basketball team. He and I are friends. And so I, you know, Damien, I've talked to him a little bit. So, now the football coaches, that's a different story. Are they just riding these players' backs? I don't know, but they're going to be good this year. I call it the Wattis Curse. They've never won anything. They've lost more heartbreaking games in basketball than the Wattis Curse. They should have won last. They lost right here. I did the play-by-play -play right there in the end zone, freezing my ass off. So, I mean, corruption on corruption has been this program. And I'll tag some of the historic stuff in. But it's been one of the greatest turnarounds, wins and losses in sports history. Oh, they win, but they, they should have won the national championship two years in a row. I mean, just heartbreaking what happened. I mean, they weren't ready. I mean, that main team, they overlooked them. But that heartbreaking push in the back the year before, they, they should have won it. But I think they're even better this year. And they got players. How old do they have players? What a defense is all I got to say. But So we'll see you in San Diego. We're dedicating the entire season to the young Smith.
great running back who played up here. At the same time, you know, he was here. Yeah, I knew him. McBride was here. I, I didn't. I still don't like McBride. I mean, he grandsons. I'm all this. He never. This is my point. So the young Smith boy, all-time leading rusher in the history of this hundred-year-old football program, gets his brains bashed in. Starting to have problems after he gets out of here. Four-year career. He has a heart attack and stroke in his twenties. You heard me right. He had a massive heart attack and stroke in his 20s. He becomes a mess. Of, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Well, I had open heart surgery two years ago. He becomes distraught. He's got head injuries. He gets on drugs. He ends up homeless. He's down to Salt Lake where the homeless hang. He's arrested for some warrants. DUI, failure to show. You know the whole ugly cycle, which happens with lots of NCAA college football players. New scoreboards, new thing. He gets arrested. He's thrown in a jail cell. He has a stroke and a heart attack in the jail cell. By the time they get him to the hospital, he's dead. At 32 years old. That just happened. This is the NCAA that we live in. These players are nothing but slaves. It's absolutely, fuck the NCAA. And we're gonna be going to the NCAA and we have full blessings of basketball, football. They can't stop us because it's under the umbrella of college radio. Kevin Blanche is gonna leave the tip of the spear on this thing like I do everything else. You know, the leukemia bowl. So we open with Diablo Canyon Bowl, Cal Poly. I call it the Diablo Canyon. Who built the reactors at Diablo Canyon? So I've named this. We'll be opening San Diego tomorrow. The San Onofre Bowl. Why the San Onofre Bowl? It's who built the reactors of Fukushima, Japan. This school, who's named after the... Miss, Mrs. Stewart's a gem, by the way. That's the D family. The Wattises, you know, floor construction, SMRs. So, where's the nuclear reactor for San Onofre Park? Right there. Out there, what a view from this stadium, by the way. You walk up there, you can see right where it's parked. So I call this the San Onofre Bowl. We'll be opening the 100-year historic program. San Diego State better be ready, though, I gotta say. I know this team's defense is a beast. I mean a beast. They got players. Offense, we'll see. But I see Rashad, he's from San Diego, by the way. It's, it's his birthday. <laughs> you know, my daughter's birthday, too. What a cool day that is. So he's a player. But... They have lots of great players. They have some good local players. And what Jay's done with this program, turning it around, is historic. It's one of the greatest turnarounds, wins and losses, in all of sports history. Is it corrupt? I don't know. But it's been corrupt for 100 years, and that's unarguable. By the way, Dr. Hanley, the greatest football player who ever played here. So. Here, let's see if the coach can catch it. Go team. See you in San Diego tomorrow. Stand